Now, once you begin printing in the darkroom, there's, you know, there's a whole world of opportunities that you can make work in. One of the first issues that I had was, well, how big do I need to make my photographs? And it really, I really struggled with it because there were times where I really liked making these small five by seven images, but then, you know, I just felt they were too small and I couldn't see the detail well enough and that I wanted to go on and start making eight by 10 images. And then there came a point where I, I wanted to make even larger images. So this is two and a quarter negative on 11 by 14 paper. And then I went 16 by 20. And then I started to not have very much money after a while. The more, the higher you go up in paper size, the more expensive it's going to get between even your paper and how much chemistry you use. So luckily I put the brakes on it pretty quickly and I have a couple of different methods for deciding what size a print should be that I'm going to go over with you.